Hey, Plan Academy fans, it's Michael. We're talking about P6 settings in this series, and I have another video for you today. We're talking about resource analysis settings in the user preferences of Primavera P6. Let's go check it out. All right. So here are the settings we are looking at. Edit, Menu, User Preferences. And right here on the Resource Analysis tab, I want to talk about the settings up at the top half of this screen. All projects. So I'll just read it for you. When all projects are shown in the resource usage profile and spreadsheet, all open projects are included as well as closed projects specified below. And we have a couple options. Okay, what is this all about? So yeah, this is about analyzing resources and how resources are used either on the current project or on the current project versus other projects. Okay, it's a bit of an advanced thing, but I'll show you how it works. So we're just going to let the defaults uh, lie here. I think it's probably open projects because I was playing with this a bit earlier. So let's leave it at open projects. Okay, let's head over to view, show on bottom, and resource usage profile. Here we go. This is our resource usage profile graph where we can kind of see graphs of how resources are, have been assigned to work in the project. So let's go check out, say, uh, I think it's the electrician here, or even better than the electrician is the project's control management. And we get a nice little graph here. What we don't know too much about this graph is that we can actually view projects that are closed. We can see graph the graph for this resource where they've been assigned on closed projects. That basically means show me how my resource is being used on this project versus how it's being used on other projects. Okay, how do we do that? So we need to go here to display on the right side and we need to check on show all projects. Okay, nothing much happens though, does it? That's right. And that's because it has to do with that setting. So let's go back to the setting and I'll show you a shortcut to get there really quick. We, actually on this menu, because that setting plays, in, plays a lot of role here, we can actually access it right here, user preferences. Okay, and it'll take us right to this resource analysis tab. So it says, when we're looking at this graph, right now I have it set to just show opened projects. That means regardless of how I said show all projects, it's still only showing me open projects, which is the one I have open here. But if I choose show all projects, all closed projects, then I get a different result. Oh, have a look. Now we are seeing two colors. And what we can see here is that remaining in black, and I have set that black on my own, uh, shows me how this resource is allocated to closed projects and remaining is showing me how it's allocated to the project that I have open. Okay, so I went into resource usage profile options and you'll see this option now that we have set everything up that way. And I just made this guy black here. So this makes it really easy to visualize. So I'll just show you in this list of resources, the guys that have a little arrow next to them, like the plumber, they're actually assigned to this project. But, but anybody who doesn't have an arrow is not assigned to this project. And you can still see the usage graph of those resources. So that's kind of what's happening here is the ability in this graph to see how resources are being used in other projects. Go down to back to my user preferences, resource analysis. So there are three options here. There's open projects, the default, which basically says ignore other projects altogether. And then there's all closed projects except what if projects. So any project that is marked with a what if, and I'll show you what that means, is ignored. And then this says all closed projects with a leveling priority. And a leveling priority is another field that's used in resource leveling. I don't recommend using that one because it's going to be tricky. So we can either use the first one or the last one. Okay. So we set that. And then lastly, I'm going to explain that 
what if projects. So if I go back to the my projects screen and I scroll down this list, you'll see any project that has a little question mark icon on it. That's a what if project. And the reason it's a what if project is basically because on the general tab, when you open the project, you can specify a status of what if. And that just means that it's not a real project. And P6 sort of has this status of what if to help it ignore some of those projects from analysis like this. So ignore ones that have this what if um, status tab. So I've given you a lot of information here, but hopefully you now understand what those resource analysis settings are all about and how those settings impact analyzing resources on the resource usage profile in P6. And that's a wrap for this video. I'm Michael, happy planning. If you want to learn more about P6 settings and how to use P6 to manage projects, please check out some of our courses. We have an advanced course, we have a foundations course, and they would be perfect for you to get your P6 certificate and become a master at Primavera P6.